you're planning your vacation. You will be off to somewhere really nicely like Croatian coast for the next week or two. But what about your home? Yes, you cannot take your home. Well, actually, you can. I've done it a year or two ago. Not in terms of home, but home assistant. But that's not the topic of today's video. Today we'll be talking about what you can do with your home to potentially prevent somebody breaking in while you are not there. Today we'll be looking at the present simulation. The hex integration that allows you to simulate what your home looks when somebody is living in it. We'll start in a couple of seconds. You packed everything. Colleagues at work know that they shouldn't call you or mail you because you are going on a vacation. Some or maybe all of your neighbors are aware that you will not be at home. But what about burglars? How do you tell them, listen, I really do not want you to rob my home? Where well, there are actually a couple of ways you can, I wouldn't say it prevent it, but mitigate the possible risk of break-in. One thing, of course, is putting cameras around your home so that everybody can see them. Hidden cameras are not deterrents, so if they can be seen by burglars, they may end up going to some other house. The other option, of course, is to have alarm. And if they try to break in, yeah, the alarm can be triggered and that may scare them away. But one of the better deterrents can be that burglars think that you are still at home. There are a lot of ways on how you can simulate that you are still at your apartment. I had that automation running for years and it's working more or less okay. But the best way to simulate that you are at home is to actually be home while you are not at home. That's why we will be today looking at the Presence Simulation Integration from HAX or HACS or Home Assistant Community Store. Your smart home should be smart. There are a lot of things that we do. We add a lot of sensors, we create a lot of scripts, automations, triggers, etc. But it's time to really dig in into historical data. Do you remember what you did seven days ago? What rooms were lit? What covers were raised? Etc. You probably don't. But your home assistant does. There is something that's called history. This is internal home assistant integration. You actually do not need to normally use it, but you can have it enabled. And for this integration, we need this history enabled and it's part of the default configuration. So unless you have disabled or removed default configuration, history should already be on. The second part of history is something that is called recorder. They work as a pair. One says system to remember the history of the states and the other one is recorder telling it for how long to keep it, when to purge it, what to include and what to exclude from the history data. If your system is stock, if you haven't played or removed history or default configuration or recorder as a part of your system, you should be all set. The next question is how long of a data is your system saving? Purge keep days tell system how many days of the data or the history it should keep. Default value is 10 days. In my Home Assistant configuration file or configuration.yaml file, I did specify recorder and I did intentionally specify purge keep days because I didn't want to use default 10 days, instead I want to keep last 14 days or 2 weeks of the history in my setup. You can play with that value, but the longer period your system has, the better simulation will be. So this is the prerequisite. Check your configuration YAML file. And if you have default configuration inside configuration YAML file, you can either leave everything as is or add two lines, recorder and then purge keep days and then the value, which is how many days you want to keep data in your system. Don't go overboard with this value. This will of course increase the database on your disk and this can have impact on your system. Although developers have really put a lot of effort in the last year, year and a half, and the database has been optimized. Just don't put here 365 days. Now that we have verified that we have history and recorder enabled, go to HACS. And if you do not have HACS or do not know how to install it, I will be leaving a link up here where you can see the latest version of the HACS integration installation. Go to integrations page, click on explore and download repositories, and then 
type in presence for present simulation. Click on it. And we will be going through the documentation a little bit, but for now we just want this to install so we can restart our Hope Assistant. Click on download. The latest version at the time of the recording was version 3.1. Click on download. And this should be it. While we are here, don't forget to give this GitHub repository a star. And we also must thank Slashback100 for this awesome integration. Let's go to settings, click on three dots, restart Home Assistant and restart Home Assistant. While system is restarting, let's check the documentation. As I mentioned previously, Home Assistant has database. And this integration will look at the historical values or historical states of the sensors or entities inside the database. What that means, for example, if you have automatic covers or blinds or something similar and you usually open them up when you arrive home, then close them later down in the evening, the system knows when you do those activities. It also knows when the lights in the living room, bedroom, kitchen, front lights, porch lights, etc. are turned on and turned off. Yes, as I mentioned, you can create your own custom automations that would simulate everything. But we don't need to do that. This integration does all the work for us. Supported entities are lights, covers, media players, yes, even media players, or all domains which entities have states on and off. That can be turned on or off with the service Home Assistant turn on and Home Assistant turn off, such as automation, switches, groups, etc. I've already mentioned prerequisites and we made sure that our database is enabled and we do have in this case, 10 days or more of data. This value can be customized. So if, for example, your system is keeping only five days of data, you can, for example, specify here four, four, four days of the historical values. Next step after Home Assistant has restarted is, of course, to configure it. And we can do that via the UI. Let's go to integrations, add integration, presence, simulation, which is a custom component. And here you can specify all the entities that you want to be used in this presence simulation. For the purpose of this video, I have added left light, right light, cover, which is a curtain and a media player in one of the rooms. There is also one additional way that I will show you later on how you can control your lights. We can create a fake group that would be used just for this presence simulation. Next, you need to specify delta in days. We know that our history database has last 14 days. So we can specify 10, 12 or even 14 days. If your system is purged every 5 days, you can use 4 days, 5 days. Refresh interval should be left alone. It is not advised to reduce this under 30 seconds because it will put additional strain on the system. So keep that default value unless you have a very good reason to change it. Next option is to restore state after simulation. If, for example, everything is turned off at the time when we start this present simulation, by enabling this switch, we will restore it at the state before the present simulation was run. So you can either opt in to use this or not. It all depends on you. Let me tick this box. You can compare this to the ad hoc scenes, where, for example, you run a scene, but you also take a screenshot of the previous state. This is the same thing here. And the last option we have here is the random time for switching entities. You can add some random time, for example, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 180 seconds, that will be add or used when calculating when to turn a switch or entity on or off. This is just additional randomizer. We can leave it at zero and click submit. And that's it. Present simulation is now configured. How do you toggle it? You can go to Developer Tools, Services, type in Presence, and we have three services. You can use Presence Simulation Start, Presence Simulation Stop, or Presence Simulation Toggle. For that, you can add to your dashboard either this toggle or the Start and Stop buttons, use them, or use this inside your automations. If you have, for example, scheduled when you will be out of office or, sorry, out of home. Or you can, for example, use the local calendar, set your vacation dates there and create automation that will be triggered based on the keyword in the local calendar, for example, vacation. I have created sample dashboard. These are four of the lights that I have also added to the present simulation. These two are individual lights. These are group lights or lights in a group. This is one cover or curtain. 
Here we have entity status showing us that the present simulation is currently off and this is a button we can use to trigger present simulation. It's very hard to show how this integration operates because it's simulating based on the historical values of the sensors. This light should turn on because 99.99% .99 of the time this light is always on at this time of the day. These three lights, it depends. If we are doing something in the dining room, these lights may be on. And the kitchen, of course, is based on the motion sensor, so it should be either on or off. Let's test it. After a couple of seconds, the living room light was indeed turned on, because based on the values we have in the historical database, it decided that usually this light is on at this time of the day. Depending on the other entity states in our historical database, it will then randomly turn on and off based on our, once again, historical data. But as I mentioned, you can also create group of lights. For example, I have created a group called light.presence underscore simulation. Click on create helper, select group, select light group. And here you just input all of the lights or group of lights that you want to add to that group. For me, these are these groups and individual lights. And then in settings, integrations, present simulation, configure, you just add that one group or one entity here, light.present simulation, and all of those lights in all of those groups will then be used to simulate your presence at home. If you once again turn the present simulation on, in a couple of seconds it should pull the historical data and turn whatever light or whatever group of lights was on at that time. In my case, it was living room, zeta room and bedroom. This integration is one of the simplest way to mimic whatever you were doing at your home so that the possible intruders or those that are scouting your home to see if somebody is home or not, well, they decide to leave because they will think that somebody is living in that home. You better get out of here before somebody sees us. It's much more cleaner and better than using, for example, automation that would turn a specific time of the day or night, lights in whatever room you intend to do so. We all remember how it was done in Home Alone. I really do hope that you did find this integration useful. And if you did, don't forget to give a star to the GitHub repository, thank the author once again. And also, if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms, which were unfortunately going down lately. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank all the wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, commented or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Just click on join button down below or go to the merchandise store and get something there. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun.